to create a curved ramp, I first take the ramp and I measure out on one side, on the outside of the wall, um, hash marks that are spaced half an inch apart from each other. And I just do that down the, the length of the entire cascade ramp. Then I, I cut them all the way to the back wall. <clears throat> Then I place glue on the back wall. And I take my round tower and glue the back wall to the tower in a spiral. And it's at a fairly steep angle because the curved towers sometimes get a, the bottoms of the the round tower cascades sometimes get a little bit warped and can form pockets that the marble can get stuck in if the cascade is too shallow i mean if it's, if the grade is too shallow <clears throat> or not steep enough once i have it glued in place then i take all the little the little like railroad ties of the cascade and I, I flip them upward like the petals of a flower. Then I cut a strip that's approximately three quarters of an inch wide. A fairly long strip of cardstock. This is going to be the floor of the curved cascade ramp. Then I cut that up into strips of paper that are about an inch and a half long. And starting at the bottom, starting at the bottom of the uh, of the ramp, I start placing the floor. And the reason I start at the bottom is because I want to I want to lay the floor pieces one on top of the other so that the seams face away from the marble and don't slow down its descent. I place it on the ramp making sure that the ramp sticks out vertically I mean not vertically sticks out horizontally from the uh, the round tower and I place it kind of close to the edge of the ramp floor without um, getting in the way of those vertical little tabs on the ends of those ties. I call them ties, they're like railroad ties almost. There I've placed the last floor piece, the other four I, I've already placed. And as you can see it's on top of the other ones. Each one is on top of the one preceding it. Then I cut a, a, cut a strip of paper that's about half an inch wide. This is going to be the outer wall. And I kind of measure it against the, uh, the ties, as I call them, against those little uh, tabs, vertical tabs on the outside, because I want to see how long that strip is so I can glue just enough of those vertical tabs so that I can place that wall. You'll see what I mean. Now I flatten the ties so I can glue them. I mean not the ties, uh, the uh, little vertical tabs on the ends of the ties. I glue each one right up to the point where the, uh, the strip of paper is going to go. Then I, I make the tabs verti vertical again, or the little flaps vertical. Starting at the bottom, I place the wall, and I place it flush against the floor of the curved ramp. And I make sure that the, um, the little flaps are perpendicular to that strip of paper, to the, the wall that I'm placing.
make sure, make sure that the glue takes and then I test it.